Hey guys, today's another video where I make something. So, my original AirPods, I wanted to make them work as a phone with my Apple Watch. So, I went through many different designs for a case. And then I lost them. So, then the Pros came out. And the Pros were a little bit different. I couldn't make the shape of it work as if like you can actually call like this. So, I thought of a different idea. I wanted to integrate the actual AirPods case into the case itself, and this is what I got. Let's get started. Okay, so once in a while I like making videos where um, I show off things I make, and I'm probably not going to edit this one that well, it's just going to be me showing off. So this is the older version, uh, the one with the regular, uh, yeah, the regular AirPods and the Apple Watch Series 4 or 5. Um, so the watch would go here, and then the AirPods would slot into the back. This one would slide in. Um, and while it looked nice and was actually pretty functional, it wasn't comfortable to hold and easy to use. So the speaker of the AirPods would actually come out through here, which was, in my opinion, pretty clever. Um, the, air, the microphone would come out over here, which was also pretty nice. It actually worked surprisingly well. Um, the, all the buttons were easy to press, the microphone hole was exposed, so was the digital crown, everything was easy. Speakers, uh, speaker holes were like in there, so that's pretty nice too. Um, but one thing about this was that it's not easy to hold. So if you see, um, I'm using three fingers to hold it, um, but these fingers are like not doing anything, it's really uncomfortable. Uh, and it's, to use it, you had to do this, which was not that easy. So those are the features of the old version and some of them I fixed. So on the new version, when you're holding it, it feels like you're holding uh, a rod or something. It's really nice to hold. Um, the shape wraps around your hand perfectly. Uh, your fingers wrap around it perfectly. And to open the AirPods, um, you just use with one hand. Uh, you can use two fingers, one finger, uh, everything works. And then you can just pull it out with your hand that's really nice too. Uh, close it and yeah. So the back is all flat, unlike the old version where you had to plug them in and it would look kind of ugly. Uh, the new one's just flat and clean. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, the left side is also clean. It's just the AirPods itself in the case. Top, bottom, nothing. But on the right is where all the interesting stuff are. I made a charging port. Uh, it's a little too small for the Apple one, but then you can still plug it in. Um, on the on the top is where the Apple Watch itself charges, and you know how the watch uses the puck to charge, so that's perfectly sized for it to fit in, and it doesn't really cause any issues when it's not in there, so that's pretty nice. Angle, but a quick thing I wanted to show off was that uh, you can still charge it, so the AirPods are wirelessly charging, and then you have your puck here. Slide that in. Now they're both charging. Uh, it's actually really nice. Um, this was an unintended feature. I personally thought it wouldn't work because there's a big gap between the AirPods and the charging pad, but I mean, a lot of my features are accidental, so that's pretty nice. Um, so the thing about this is you can actually pull the AirPods out really easily. Um, and I have a D-brand skin on it, so that just gives it a little bit more friction to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out. Uh, when you don't have it, it's a little bit slippery, but you're holding it like this anyway, so it shouldn't cause any problems. Uh, pull the bottom out, and the Apple Watch just comes out if you bend the case like that. Um, it doesn't look too safe to do it, but I can assure you it's pretty great. Um, since the, the case is made out of TPU, it's really easy to, to bend it, and since it's like just plastic, it, it won't affect the metal housing of the Apple Watch. Uh, the way I plug it in is I shove it through in the top and then on the bottom I just bend it and then it snaps in place. And then it's pretty secure in there. Uh, since it's flexible, it won't cause any damage. It probably won't break the screen either. And it won't mess with the metal housing. The bottom just goes into place and it's really nice. Um, you still have access to the digital crown and the big button here. You can still feel everything. Um, 
there's no like performance issues. You can press this button perfectly fine. It's a little harder to press it, but uh, it's still accessible. Speakers are like not exposed, but because um, I didn't have time for that, but it still works. I tested it and the microphone also works too and the audio quality is optimal. Um, and the AirPods, you can just pull them out, connect them to your watch, listen to music. When you're done, plug them back in. So the main thing about this is that uh, a lot of people said it's useless and I don't disagree, but there are times where this can actually serve a pretty useful purpose. Um, for example, times when you need your, uh, you don't need all the functionality of a phone, but you still wanna stay connected to like phone calls just in case. Uh, for example, like weddings, it's kind of disrespectful to just carry your phone around and stay on it all day. So maybe like when you're quite quickly checking notifications, you can just use this phone. And since it's really tiny and you can't uh, really notice it, just slip it away. No one will say anything. Um, other things are like, it's pretty good for walks because you don't really need a phone because if you do have a phone while going on a walk, you're most likely gonna get distracted. Um, this one has everything you need, the time, weather, uh, you can still send text messages and phone calls. Um, it doesn't give you all the functionality, which is pretty nice. And my inspiration for this idea was my friend, he was, he lost his phone and then he, well, he, he was using his watch to like text and stuff. So I thought it was pretty funny. Um, and then I thought of an idea. Why not do that? Why not make a case to make it work as a phone? My original thought was that Apple, um, created the Apple Watch as like a semi-replacement for the phone. And that's what some people actually use it for. So this case can actually I don't know, help the product reach its true goal. Um, it's obviously not the best, but now it even has an App Store. Uh, the App Store can, it's like becoming its own device. And as it becomes less and less reliant on the iPhone, products like this may actually be pretty useful. Um, so that's just a simple product I made. Uh, it was for fun. I'm not planning on selling it. All the files are free. And um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe.